In this problem, we are told that some species of bamboo can grow 250 millimeters per day. So we're going to mark this. This should be important. We need to assume individual cells in the plant are 10 micrometers long. So we are going to underline this part because this is also important. Next, we have how long on average. This means that we are going to find time. So we'll denote this with a T. Does it take a bamboo stalk? to grow one cell length in seconds. So we need to find the growth of our cell rate in seconds. So we can highlight this right here. We know that this is important because this is talking about the growth. Um, when we look at problems, we should look at things that relate to each other. And I'll highlight these in green. So we have grow here, we have cell here. What we need to find is grow and cell. So we know that we have to use these two things. So to do this, we are going to get the individual um, cell length, the plant cell length, which is 10 micrometers. We can rewrite micrometers as 10 to the negative sixth because we know that one micrometer is equal to 10 to the negative sixth. And then if this is meters, this will be 10 to the negative sixth meters. So we are gonna have this on top. We're gonna have 10 is equal to uh, 10 times 10 to the negative 6 meters. And the reason why it's 10 times 10 to the negative 6 is because we already have a 10 right here that we have to include. We have this 10. Next, we have to have the growth rate underneath it. So we're going to have 250 millimeters per day. But um, we have to convert this to meters. And we know that one meter is, or one meter um, against millimeters is 10 to the negative 3. So instead of having 250 millimeters, we're gonna have 250 times 10 to the negative three meters. And this is gonna be over day, but since it's over day like this, what we can do is instead of writing it down there, just throw it up top. From here, we are going to have our meters cancel out, and then we can plug all of this part into a calculator. And keep in mind, uh, this actual equation is really T is equal to the cell length, so the plant length. We'll write plant length, and it's going to be over the growth rate. So we can write growth rate down here. And this is because we want to find how long it takes for one stock to grow in how many seconds. So we have the actual length, the length right now, divided by the growth rate of it. So this is equivalent to what we wrote up here. We just plugged it in for that. In this next step, I will write it in black, but after we plug this into our calculator, we are gonna get that T is equal to four times 10 to the negative five days. If we wanted to show how we did this from here, this is kind of extra, but we want to have these 10 to the negative six be positive and this 10 to the negative three be positive as well to evaluate it. We can also cancel out these zeros. So what we're gonna have is one over 25, and then we are going to flip our tens. That way they can be positive instead of negative. So we'll have on a separate part, 10 to the cubed and 10 to the sixth down here. We just flip them so that their signs are positive now instead of negative. And then we can cancel these out. Well, this 10 cubed right here is going to be subtracted from this 10 right here. So we're gonna be left with a 10 cubed down here. And to flip this up to have it be what we have right here, what we're going to do is write our one over 25, which if we divide this, we are gonna get 0 0.04. And then we're gonna flip this 10 to the negative three up. So it's gonna be times 10 to the negative three. And then from here, we just move this decimal two slots over, and that is gonna give us a four times 10 to the negative five, which is what we have right here. So we don't really need a calculator to do this. It's just a little bit more convenient, but this is how we do scientific notation. After this, we will look back here. Um, we'll put this over one because it asks us for the answer in seconds right here. This is super important. So we have to convert days into seconds. Well, we know that one day is equal to 24 hours, and we know that one hour is equal to 60 minutes. And we know that one minute 
is equal to 60 seconds. So now we can cancel out these units. So we'll cancel out the days, we'll cancel out the hours, and we'll cancel out the minutes. And we're going to be left with 4 times 10 to the negative 5 times 24 times 60 times 60. And this is going to give us the answer of t is equal to 3.456 seconds. And since the question is asking us how long on average does it take a bamboo stalk to grow one cell length in seconds, well, we have this time right here. This is how long it takes. So this is going to be the answer to this problem. Earlier in the problem, I wrote out the way we were supposed to plug this in, like this. T is equal to plant length over growth rate. However, there is a way to check this to be sure we are plugging it in correctly. And the way to do that is to make sure that our resulting unit, which was seconds, is where it's supposed to be, which is on top right here. If seconds was below, if this was 3.456 divided by one second, this would not be the correct answer, obviously, because the seconds or the actual unit has to be in the numerator with our value. So if we did it right here and we plugged in the meters over, or well, technically it would be meters over day over meters, that means the day right here instead of being the numerator would be in the denominator. And we couldn't have that because if we um, proceeded to this step, it would not work out correctly. So we just have to make sure that our resulting unit is in the numerator position. Otherwise, we have to probably go back and flip what we plugged in.